The iOS 18 Photos app really sucks. I'm gonna walk you through steps on how to get that fixed and looking more normal to every user. Now, if you think it might be just you, you can open up this Reddit thread and you can see iOS 18 Photos need some major changes. And there are over 300 comments basically complaining and griping, talking about how crappy this app is as it was redesigned in iOS 18. I think the reason for that is if you open up the Photos app, it just looks cluttered and you're not necessarily grounded on exactly where you are. Now, every other normal app and how the Photos app used to be is it used to look sort of like this. You would have here, it's a little bit blurry, but you would have here at the very bottom is a menu and you have one screen that you're on, say your library or albums. But now it essentially is switched to an endless scroll of random photos and settings and people and pets and recent days. And it's just rather confusing to know exactly where you are. Now, keep in mind other apps like Instagram, again, you're on one screen and usually the menu is at the bottom or at the top. So let's fix the photos app here. Let's go into the photos app. And now what you're first gonna do is swipe all the way down to the very bottom. And you'll notice at the very bottom, at least they added a customize and reorder option. So tap on that. And you can see everything is checked by default, but in a lot of instances, most people don't use a lot of these. For instance, recent days and people and pets, pin collections, I don't ever use. Shared albums, I do actually use and I like to see those as well as memories. So they'll pop up if it's someone's birthday or we were on a trip a year ago or two years ago. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna disable trips here and featured photos, media types, I don't necessarily need it. And then wallpaper suggestions. Now you can choose whether you want albums on there or not. I don't necessarily use albums that much. I just search for photos. So I'll just keep it as this. So again, you might want to control exactly what is on there and I would recommend removing a lot of things that you don't use. You can also just take your finger and swipe anything up or down to essentially get to reorder any of these. Let's say I wanna see memories first. Now let's get out of here and you can see if I scroll up, okay, it shows me the photos and then memories, shared albums, and then utilities at the bottom. Now keep in mind, there are some cool features that they have added in here, but now we've gone a long way towards basically simplifying this specific app and making it look more normal. If you swipe up, then you get into just the photo library, the normal photo library that used to pop up when you just open up the old iPhone photos app in iOS 17. However, now there are some cool features. You can tap on the up and down arrow at the bottom left. And one cool thing I see is sort by recently added. So essentially, if you downloaded a photo or a video from a website or something onto your phone, I would recommend sorting it by recently added, not necessarily the date captured, because it could have been an old photo that was taken two years ago. And then you'd have to swipe through your entire feed to be able to find that. And then I also would recommend tapping on here and there's a really cool option, tap on view options here, and we can disable screenshots. A lot of times people take screenshots, but don't necessarily want their entire photo albums or photo feed to be cluttered up by all those screenshots. So you can disable that as well as the shared with you if you don't necessarily want those two different things. Now, one thing that they have done really well is they've added a really robust search. So I can tap on the search icon at the top here and it says search for whatever you want, like me and Haley or a brown dog or trips in 2020. I'm gonna type in trees and hit search and see the top results. So you can see, all right, it popped up with that one. There's a tree in the background. And let's say I'm gonna go back and search Again, I'm gonna search for beach. Well, if I could type here, let's search for beach. And you can see it automatically detects where beaches are in photos. And I can tap on any of these to get back to it. So if you think to yourself, hey, 
I remember I took a photo at a beach somewhere. I can always just go back and just search for that specific keyword, what is in that photo, and it helps you to find it instead of just mindlessly scrolling through all of these to try to find that specific photo. Now, another cool feature is we can scroll down to the bottom and the utilities are pretty robust in iOS 18. So tap on utilities here and you can see a lot of cool options. Now you can see, of course, favorites, hidden, recently deleted, but you can also go to things like handwriting. So tap on that and you can see various things that looks like cursive or handwriting. You can see it didn't necessarily get it on this pillow. It looks like that is handwriting, but that's just printed. Whereas there are some other things that are handwritten and it will pop up with that if you have say recipes or something. Now you can also go to recently viewed. So tap on that and it'll show you the photos or the videos or whatever that you recently viewed. You can go to documents, say you scanned a document and you wanted to go back and send that through an email. You can go to documents and imports and map is a cool feature as well. You can zoom out and see all of your photos if they're geotagged across different countries and states and cities. You can see that as well. So they have done some really good options and added new features. You can see the utilities is really robust. I like that a lot. But again, I don't necessarily know why they decided to format this this way and not have a normal screen. But whenever you are on there, again, you can always just swipe up and then this kind of gives you a, basically a recognition of, you know, sort of how it was in the past in iOS 17. They've gotten a lot of feedback that a lot of people are not necessarily happy with this iOS 18 photos app. So maybe in iOS 19, they redesign it again and make it more familiar. Again, what I don't necessarily like is they've made everything on one page, whereas most apps that most people are used to dealing with have various menu buttons at the bottom or the top that will take them to different sections or pages. Whereas the mindlessly scrolling through all of the different categories on here, all on one page is a little disorienting in my opinion, because you don't necessarily know where you are and it pops up with random things that you didn't necessarily want on there. So again, hopefully in iOS 19, they fix it. But as of right now, you can customize and control exactly what it looks like and make it suck a little bit less. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.